In May 2023, Russia's defense ministry made a noteworthy declaration, officially acknowledging the successful interception of a long-range storm shadow missile that had been supplied to Ukraine by Britain. This marks the first time that such an incident has been officially recognized. According to Russia's military, they claim to have intercepted a total of seven storm shadow missiles. The Ukrainian Air Force has received a supply of storm shadow cruise missiles from the UK, of which the decision was announced by British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace in a statement on May 11th. As per the 30th of May 2023, the Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu revealed that Russian forces intercepted and eliminated a total of 29 long-range storm shadow cruise missiles throughout the month as part of a special military operation in Ukraine. Storm Shadow, also known as Scalp EG in France, is a highly accurate weapon designed for precise strikes from considerable distances. It has been extensively utilized by the Royal Air Force, initially on tornado strike aircraft, and more recently on Typhoon combat jets. Boasting a range exceeding 155 miles, the missile is particularly effective against well-protected and concealed targets. This missile complements other long-range systems previously provided, including HIMARS and Harpoon missiles, as well as Ukraine's own Neptune cruise missiles and extended-range munitions. Since July 5th, video evidence has emerged confirming that Russian forces have seized a mostly undamaged Storm Shadow cruise missile in Ukraine. According to unconfirmed reports from TASS, a Storm Shadow missile that was allegedly shot down by Russian forces in Ukraine's Zaporizhia region has been taken to Moscow for further examination. This raises questions about how the missile intercepted and ended up in the possession of Russia. Fabian Hoffman, a doctoral research fellow at the University of Oslo, mentioned that Russia theoretically possesses the capability to intercept incoming cruise missiles like the Storm Shadow, Military expert Sean Bell also responded to the question of whether Russia possesses the capability to successfully intercept the Storm Shadow cruise missiles. Storm Shadow cruise missiles can be described as unmanned aerial vehicles that operate at relatively slow speeds. They resemble small unmanned airplanes and are primarily designed for kamikaze-style missions. The nature of cruise missiles, which essentially function as single-use drones with a self-sacrificial purpose, can actually make them more vulnerable to interception. This is due to their relatively slower speeds, particularly when compared to actual rockets and ballistic ammunition. The Storm Shadow missile can achieve a top speed of Mach 0.95, which is comparatively slower than fighter jets that have the capability to catch up to a cruise missile if necessary. However, intercepting this sophisticated missile poses a challenge as it is not easily engaged by conventional anti-aircraft weapons. While the missile is not entirely stealthy and can be detected by radar, it possesses certain stealth-like characteristics that make it challenging to spot. Moreover, the Storm Shadow has the capability to fly at very low altitudes, utilizing the terrain for concealment. This is made possible by its unique flight pattern, where the missile ascends upon approaching the target and then performs a dive towards it. As a result, the missile does not need to maintain a high altitude throughout its trajectory, enhancing its ability to hide within the terrain. Nevertheless, Military expert Bell acknowledged that such the scenario of storm shadow intercepted by Russia is not beyond the realm of possibility. The Russians have also claimed to have downed HIMARS missiles, which are equally challenging to track. Therefore, while it is not impossible to intercept the storm shadow, Russia's credibility has been undermined by their unsubstantiated reports. Their claimed victory over the Storm Shadow missile will always be met with skepticism, particularly considering the evidence of deep strikes carried out by Ukrainian forces beyond the front lines. However, the increasing number of photographs showcasing downed Storm Shadow missiles on the Internet suggest that Russian air defenses might be gradually adjusting and adapting to counter such attacks.
So how did Russia intercept the Storm Shadow? When discussing the interception of Storm Shadow missiles by Russian forces, it is essential to acknowledge the exceptional radar systems employed by Russia. These state-of-the-art systems are widely recognized as some of the best in the world, and their remarkable effectiveness in detecting and intercepting Storm Shadow missiles cannot be overlooked. Russia has additionally advanced its over-the-horizon or OTH radar systems. These systems have the capacity to provide early warnings of missile attacks from thousands of miles away, further raising the difficulty level for a storm shadow missile to evade detection. It can be said that the effectiveness of Russia's storm shadow missile interception largely depends on their advanced warning systems which play a critical role in timely detection of incoming missiles. These systems are instrumental in providing early alerts, allowing Russian defense systems to respond promptly and effectively. Most importantly, the cornerstone of Russia's interception capabilities lies in the deployment of the advanced S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft weapon system. Widely regarded as one of the most formidable anti-aircraft missile systems in existence, the S-400 is capable of engaging a diverse array of targets, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. This makes it an optimal choice for intercepting storm shadow missiles. As expected, Specific information about individual incidents of Russian forces intercepting storm shadow missiles remains undisclosed. The topic has been concealed in military secrets. However, it is clear that Russia's weapons control and air defense systems have recently undergone rigorous testing, attesting to their efficiency. In 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced that their air defense system successfully intercepted and neutralized multiple missiles in the skies over Syria. Although the specific nature of these missiles was not explicitly disclosed, there were strong indications that they could have been storm shadow missiles. Overall, despite the formidable challenges and significant stakes at hand, Russia's proficiency in intercepting storm shadow missiles showcases its technological expertise and strategic defense capabilities. The captured missile on July 7th was disassembled on the battlefield by Russian technicians, separating the high explosive and shaped charge parts, the control unit, and folding the wings for easier transportation. The process of removing the missile lasted for a duration of two days and carried considerable risks due to the active GPS tracker that had the potential to guide the enemy strike team to the location of the Russian forces. However, measures were taken to neutralize the tracker and the Russian fighters continuously moved and confronted the enemy's sabotage and reconnaissance unit. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.